I'm Nathan Labrasser from the Mayo Clinic, and I'm a member of the Robert and Arlene Kogod Center on Aging, and an associate professor at uh, the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. I have a unique opportunity at Mayo Clinic to lead three different research programs. One is very basic science, where we work with cells and mice to really understand the very basic mechanisms of aging. And in doing that work, we use model systems to really understand processes. So what, what happens in cells as we age? What drives age-related changes? And so in the, the basic science setting, we can actually use mice to mimic what we might do clinically. So we have the same tests and measures that we do um, use in human studies, we can do them in mice. So whether it be high resolution imaging strategies or do measures of exercise capacity or muscle strength, we can do in mice just as we do in humans. We look at physical activity or insulin resistance or different outcome measures for diabetes we can do in mice just like we do in humans. And that's very unique, the capacity to do minimally invasive or non-invasive tests and measures in mice to really study the same things that we'd study in our patients at Mayo Clinic. As we move from the bench to the bedside, at Mayo Clinic we have about 550 ongoing clinical trials where we really try to introduce measures that are related to aging. So those could be things like uh, age-related or disease-related changes in mobility, so things like gait speed and ability to climb stairs or rise from a chair, key determinants of health, key determinants of independence, predictors of fall risks, and things of that nature. And we have a very unique laboratory set up designed to specifically measure those things. Um, at the same time, we have high resolution imaging technology, so we can do very sophisticated measures of muscle health and bone health, look at the infiltration of lipids and fats with aging or disease processes into key organs of interest. So what's exciting at Mayo Clinic is our ability to translate discoveries at the bench and bring them to the bedside, but what we're also interested in are readily implementable solutions for tomorrow. And to achieve that and have um, very applicable solutions for today's older persons that don't depend on a 20-year process of discovering a drug and testing a drug, um, we have the HALE initiative, and that's for healthy aging and independent living. And that's a very unique partnership between the Kogod Center on Aging, which is composed of scientists and physicians, and we're partnered with the Center for Innovation, which is really a unique group of designers and innovators. And they think very differently about problems, very differently and outside of their scope of, of, of science and medicine. So bringing those different uh, types of expertise together really comes up with creative and innovative ideas for comprehensive solutions for healthy aging and independent living. We have two unique features to our, our initiative. One is the Charter House Hale Laboratory. So the Healthy Aging and Independent Living Laboratory is a living laboratory in a senior residence of about 400 individuals. Some of them are independent, living independently. Others require different degrees of assistance. And it's a laboratory where we can test products, services, and technologies to see how they assist older persons with living independently. We also have a consortium model, so we invite corporate partners to sit at the table with us to think about comprehensive solutions for healthy aging and independent living. So companies like Best Buy and General Mills and the Good Samaritan Society and United Healthcare really join us to think about ways that we can intervene to promote healthy aging and independent living. It may be something as simple as a piece of biometric sensing technology or it could be a nutritional intervention or it could be something that the Geek Squad could help install in your home uh, to, to help you know that your loved one is doing well. So if you're interested in learning more about research on aging at Mayo Clinic, please visit our websites.